Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video today, I'm going to be going over this Anzac Day body paint tutorial. I've never actually seen an Anzac Day body paint tutorial being uploaded onto YouTube, so I wanted to be the first one to do it and I wanted to make sure I did it really well. This took me about three hours, so I hope you guys all really enjoy this tutorial. If you're not aware of what Anzac Day is, we celebrate this day on the 25th of April every year because that is when the Anzacs first went over to Gallipoli in Turkey in World War One. On Anzac Day, we take the time to honour and remember all of the men and women who have participated in all of the wars. I really felt the need to do this body painting because not only does this day mean a lot to me every year and my family, it's just especially because it is the 100th year anniversary. I hope you guys all have a really great Anzac Day and celebrate the 100th anniversary. Please don't forget to give this video a very big thumbs up because it would mean a lot to me. Let's just get started and you guys can see how I did it. To start out this tutorial, I'm going in with my Snazaroo Red water-based paint and I'm going to be applying that with my Meiji Look Foundation brush. It's always best to work off of a reference photo whenever you're doing something like this, so I just found a random picture of a copy on Google. I'm then just going to sharply line my jawline and fill in my whole chest, neck and shoulders area. I'm then going in with my black face paint in the brand Montmartre and I'm going to be using my Meiji Look Fine Detailing brush to apply this. I'm going to be using a really wobbly and really shaky kind of motion when I'm painting on my flowers. I'm starting out with the center of the flower doing little dots to give it lots of texture. I'm then going to continue wobbling my brush to paint on the petal. I wanted this look to be very uneven so I just continued on with that really light handed painting and just sometimes applying pressure to get a little wobbly line so it's thick and thin in certain places. After that I just decided to keep painting the flowers on. Some were going to go on top of each other, some were going to go underneath and I was changing up the size of the poppies that I was painting as well and of course how many petals were on each poppy because I wanted this to look really ununiformed and not so perfect. So I'm just going to speed up the video a little bit more here because you guys can kind of get the idea of what I'm doing. I'm just going to repeat that same step everywhere, layering the different sized poppies with different amounts of petals on them and I'm just going to keep that nice and sketchy and in certain spots I went back over and thickened it just to really make them stand out. After I've done that I've also just left a little space on my my left hand side, your right, on my chest and that's where I'm going to pop my Anzac logo. So I found the easiest way to do this was to actually write it on a piece of paper and then hold that underneath where I was painting it so I could see it in the mirror. Because you do have to paint this backwards because you are looking in a mirror, it's heaps easier if you already have it written down and you just hold it underneath the area that you're painting. So then you're kind of just copying the shapes and you start to forget that it's an actual word. I would have to say this is definitely the hardest part of the tutorial, writing on yourself backwards in the mirror, but it's definitely something I need to practice on. It doesn't really matter too much if the insides of the letters are quite messy because we are going to be filling them in later. It's just really important to get them nice and straight and even. I did kind of make the C a little bit uneven, but there's nothing I can do about it now. I didn't really notice at the time. And what I did here was I ran out of space, so I just removed that last petal to put in the C as well. I'm then just going to continue painting some poppies and some little petals in and around the word Anzac just so it blends in seamlessly and it's not kind of just stuck there and standing out like a sore thumb. For the arms I decided to just paint them black so I went in with that same Montmartre black face paint and my Major Look Foundation brush and what I'm doing here is I'm just really roughly painting them and I'm going to leave a little bit of a space maybe about an inch on each side from the poppies and then what I'm going to do is go in with a sponge and I'm just going to really lightly tap that over the top of the black to get a really smoky and really blended edge. To fill in the letters I'm going in with a metallic silver body paint from Snazaroo and I'm going to be filling that in with my Major Look Fine Detailing brush. This is the part where it gets a little bit easier because we've already got our outlines there so we're kind of just colouring inside the lines and if you make any little mistakes you can always just go back in with some more black and red face paint and you won't even really notice that it's happened.
After I completed the letters for the first time, I let them dry and then I applied a second coat of the metallic silver face paint. I didn't feel like it was necessary to show me painting this twice, so as you guys can just imagine, I just re-went over it to intensify the silver. Next I'm going in with my Wolf FX Brown Face Paint and I'm going to be applying that with my Major Look Fine Detailing Brush. I'm just going to be applying little dots and bumps inside the centre of the poppies to give it a nice little texture. This is going to act as our second colour because we already have the black dots in there as well. I'm then going to take my yellow face paint from the Wolf FX Appetizer palette and I'm just going to repeat the same step. I'm not going to add as many dots in the center of the poppy flowers because this is going to act more as a highlight and not so much as texture. If you add a little bit too much you can just lightly tap over it with your fingers to blend it out. Next I went in with two shades of green. The large light green shade is from the Wolf FX palette and the small dark green shade was from the Montmartre palette and I kind of just mixed the two together and went in with the Made You Look eyeshadow brush and just applied these little teardrop shapes and just swept them out from wherever I felt like it looked good. After that I then went in with my Made You Look fine detailing brush again and I just outlined all of the leaves and put a little line through them to give them a little bit of texture. So if you guys are enjoying the tutorial, please don't forget to give it a very big thumbs up because it just helps me out a lot. And this is only my second body painting that I've ever done in my life, so if you are enjoying it, please comment down below any suggestions that you have of body painting tutorials you'd like to see me do in the future. After that I'm going in with my Ben Nye palette and I'm taking this dirt brown and I'm going to be using the Made You Look lip brush and I'm going to start buffing that in between all of the petals and this is where the red was painted on but there's actually no petals underneath so I'm kind of just creating a backdrop around the flowers. This was definitely the most time consuming step out of everything but I felt like it was really easy compared to painting every individual flower on and outlining them and then putting a background in. So I would definitely recommend to just paint your whole chest whatever colour flowers you want to do and then just fill in the background later because it does save you a lot of time. Even though this whole piece did take me about 3 hours but then again I haven't really done much body painting so I don't really have much experience. I'm then going back in with that same black Montmartre face paint and I'm just going to line a nice crisp and sharp line around my jawline. I wasn't too sure if I was going to leave it red so that's why I left this until last but I was very happy with the sharpness that the black added. After that I went in with the sponge and the same black paint and I just kind of stippled and buffed that down my neck into where the flowers started and then I went around my shoulders as well to give a lot of shadow and depth. So next I'm going in with a white face paint and the Major Look Fine Detailing Brush and I'm just going to randomly pop that on some of the petals. I'm not really good with highlight and shade yet and not really good at the concept of body painting so I kind of just randomly popped it in places and then lightly blended that out with a Q-tip and my finger. And I don't remember what face paint this was, if it was the Wolf FX or the Montmartre but I actually found out that they have the same formula. Well, if it's rumoured that they have the same formula so I wouldn't stress about buying the expensive Wolf FX if you can get your hands on the Montmartre because they are the same. So this is the completed look guys. I hope that you all really enjoyed this tutorial. It was super fun for me to make and I was really proud of myself. I do apologise for this being uploaded so late after Anzac Day but I hope that you all enjoyed your Anzac Day and celebrated the 100th year anniversary and honoured and remembered everyone who participated in the war. I thank you all so much for watching and lest we forget. See you in my next video guys.